gas or uh, whatever you call it, gas station truck stop. This is an inopportune place to put this. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, that's just bad. I'm gonna help the next person. Soaps over the trash too, for some reason. <laughs> but I think they look, it's like a symmetrical fuck off. Like you're just gonna put everything over the trash. What'd you say? It's November 2nd. <laughs> it's November 2nd. We're in St. Lulu, 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 Lulu. Pops, look how happy he is it's November. <laughs> oh. When you hit November on the calendar, that means that you can see the end in sight because we are gonna end in November. I mean, granted, it's gonna be the end of November, but it's still, still gonna be the end. So yeah, pops. 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 Green room of pops. Damn it, it really is green. I don't remember, has it always been this green? Oh, this is a nice thing to walk into. Oh, actually, I think that's ours already. This is a spot for us with strange music that we play all the time. Normally when you tour with Tech 9, the, the tour four out of five times that we've done it ends here. So this place has like a cool vibe to it, a nostalgic vibe, a triumphant vibe because we've played a lot of shows here that are like a celebration for ending the tour. <laughs> celebration, so it has a good vibe to it. Today is not the end of our tour, but it's still gonna be a good vibe. There's banner. good people here. We got great friends out here. No banner. No banner. No Bruce Banner. So yeah, let's do it, Pops. What you got, St. Louis? It's a pool and greet today. Wu-Tang, Erykah Badu, James Brown. These are all people that make their crowd wait for the show. Mayday, Web3, we're not those people. We normally go on at the time we're supposed to go on, if not earlier, like when this guy tells us to go on. But tonight, the World Series, they just tied it up, 6-6. Six, six. We're gonna have to make the crowd wait a little bit. That's it, that's just what it is. There's a TV in the green room, that's already an automatic fail. Because, I mean, great for us, not great for you guys. So, it's 6-6, six, six, top of the ninth. I'm just telling you right now, we're gonna have to fucking, we're gonna have to just wait at least World until the series, end of the night. Game seven between two teams that will probably fucking, were never expected to be playing each other. Never. This is a one in 170 fucking year opportunity. Straight up. We gotta watch this shit. We gotta watch this, I'm sorry. So, to everyone that's seeing this vlog from, that was in the crowd of Pops tonight, I'm sure you're probably watching the game too, so you're not mad at us. So, yeah, just yeah. sorry. Sorry. It was an early show, anyways. Come on. I'm gonna split the crowd up, but I need everybody in here to work together. St. Louis, if you came to party tonight, we made they make some motherfucking noise. Hell yeah. Bounce. Dog to the pit. S's at the end of words disease to make it easier to to pronounce so like recognize with a Z would be easier to pronounce and see on paper to go Z means Z that's what the sound means so it was it was to help teach people that were illiterate how to read easier by dumbing down the English language.
beach rain and I'm a big ass soto. Wake me up before you go go. We be hanging on inside your butthole. <laughs> Wake me up before you go go. Yes, we chilling up inside your taint hole. Oh yes, yes, the cannon zoom yo, and we're going inside a hotel now. Comfort suites suck my balls, balls. Yeah. 222, that's our, that's our room 222. number, dude. It's on the door. 222, I'm a Pablo, man. 222. All right, we just played Indianapolis, Emerson Theater. It was pretty good, it was pretty good. That nah, was definitely good. It was good, it was um, live. Better than last year. Better than last year, the shit's growing, man. The it's movement's growing. growing, the virus is expanding. And it's growing, dude. Gang, dude. The movement is growing. The movement um, is growing, it's happening. What else? It was uh, it was loud on stage. Oh my god, the sound was rough. Fuck. The sound was Couldn't hear rough. myself at all. Um, it was bad. It was rugged. Oh, uh, I ate tacos before the show. Tacos. A little bit too close to the show. Burping up tacos the whole. I'm gonna set. go ahead and recommend to all your rappers out there. Don't try not, try not to eat tacos an hour before set time. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now after your set, you can totally eat Cheez Its. I mean, the problem is that tacos look so small and enticing. You think you got it. You got it under control. But to be honest with you, you don't, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and say like, it's like crack cocaine. You just you shouldn't do it, man. Yeah. You shouldn't do it. All right, when you're trying to find directions, Ash. Sam Smoker's phone is telling us to do a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that dick and balls. What a dick move, right? <laughs> what a what fucking a dick fucking move, dick dude. Move. We're just trying to find steak and shake, man. That's it. We just, like, fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself with the fucking ass. <laughs> Crest Hill, Illinois. Just wanted to take y'all through something that I don't really show y'all. haven't showed y'all in the vlog at all. When you roll into a venue you've never played before which is a lot of times for us playing a lot of new clubs you never know what you're gonna find you never know what you're gonna find so just be me for a second let's you know y'all know what our setup looks like let's go on this adventure together let's do it let's do it let's see what it looks like when you walk into the club for the first time let's see what you could discover in these adventures i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead of you you got that Let's see what we find here, what we can discover. Subtle sidestepper, frogger. Little frogger sidestep. I like it. <laughs> this one's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Redo. Right, we're here to fucking work, and we're here to fucking make it happen. Crest Hill. Crest Hill. <laughs> MJ on three. One, two, three. MJ. <laughs> Fine Line Music Cafe. This is a show that almost did not happen. This show almost got demolished. A uh, promoter got fired or something. This, these are the things that happen that you run into on these streets. Uh, yeah, 
motor bailed and we kind of basically had to like work with the venue direct to try and make it happen still and i feel like we got fans out here we got family out here we got friends out here so it's like fuck man let's it's better to do a show than to not do a fucking show so we're here the venue's super dope cool spot i played here once before with uh potluck on the potluck tour on the pre-hangover tour we played this venue it's a nice bar fits a lot of people let's see if we can put some people in there it's the last day of week seven last show of week seven Billie Jean is not my lover. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, uh. Talk to him, talk to him, hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> what's up? What's up, what's up? Why are you so close to me? It doesn't look that close to the camera. What, is it? what do you want me to do? Are you enjoying your Mayday soundcheck experience? I is it riveting? No, this is my favorite part. It's your favorite part? Yeah, I was really? just mounting that to burn and see if like, what's up? This is your favorite it's part? Like Why is it your favorite part? It's not like it's better than this show, but it's just different. I don't always get to see it. This is true? Okay, okay, I fuck, fuck with it. Don't say it's better than the show. It's better. <laughs> Mayday soundcheck, uh, you're live. Yeah, Bliss. Talk to him. We're here, we're here. It's gonna be so good. Come on out. have to wear a sweater. No, I didn't have to wear a sweater. It's a balmy 67 in Minneapolis today. Mm. It's nice till we get kicked back out after sound check. Mm. It's gonna be cold out there. They're not getting rid of it. I wanna I wanna be in the vlog. Clear, I'm not. I watch the YouTubes. I've been laughing my ass off at all your vlogs the past couple weeks. I've been vlogging, you know, doing a little vlogging here and there. It's great, I like it. I like it. I dig it. I feel like I should take it you and ask you how you experience That's all this one. I do not think soundcheck is better than this show. But look at it. I guess it's because <laughs> I've seen like 400. It's incredible. <laughs> you can, if you really want to get crazy, you can. Enjoying your soundcheck experience? Oh, yeah. Is it riveting? Are you loving every second of it? That is true. All right, I will take that as a reasonable, valid answer. Just having a drink. Ooh, speaking my language, bro. Look at that. Look at all those options. Fully stocked. Look at us. Look at us. No drink. There's a problem here. No drink. What's up, guys? Hey. Are you enjoying your Mayday soundcheck? Are you riveted right now? What's that? Are you riveted? I'm riveted. Thanks for the goodies. It's all for you guys, of course. Like you're amazing. Oh, the old goodie bag. You guys are amazing. <laughs> for wasn't you gotta hack you no, but seriously, the best one though yeah. for me. Uh -huh. so, yes. It's back. That's it's back, back, dude. Man. The electronic football, dude. <laughs> Look, y'all. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> all y'all like late '80s babies, '80s babies, yeah, right here. You know what I'm saying? Old mm. school, right yeah, there. You know about this right here. This is the OG. Oh gee, now I have a, a professional gamer behind me. <laughs> Whatever. I got you. She just played 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? Straight. Call of Duty. She can't take 24 hours on this right here. <laughs> she don't want this. She does not want that. You ain't raising no charity money on that shit. <laughs> what up? Week seven ended. We are at the bottom of the second column now. You can see that. We only have one column left to go. Week seven was week seven was good. I actually picked up good from week six. Um, week six kind of whooped my ass, but um, week seven we kind of had uh, some good shows. Man, Pops was cool. Uh, Valparaiso was probably the worst show of the whole tour. It just wasn't promoted. It was on a bad night. The club was dry. They didn't sell liquor. Uh, I mean, there were some cool people in the house at least that party with us, but it was definitely the weakest show of the tour. Valparaiso, thumbs down. Um, Indianapolis was super live, uh, Crest Hill was live, and then Minneapolis, 
which was last night, ended up, was about to be canceled because the promoter bailed or got fired from the venue or something. And we didn't know if we could even do the show. So we, you know, we had to decide whether or not to drive all this way, do the show and ended up being super live last night. So thank you to everybody who came out. Uh, thank you to my homie Katie who like hit me up and bought a bunch of tickets trying to get as many people as she could to go. Uh, my brother Jesse who uh, helped us out with putting on some openers last minute just to get some more support for the show. And the, the vibe was dope. The club, the club handled it well, and it was it was live, man. It was a great way to end the week. So uh, we got a night off tonight. One of the two last nights off. We'll have this whole tour. There's 15 or 16 shows left. I want to say we are coming down the home stretch. So uh, week seven lifted up my spirits, but uh, I got to show you this real quick. We need to uh, we need to vacate the premises because they got us staying right across the street from the federal building over here in uh i don't know if you can see that you can't you probably can't see it with the screen yeah we got to get out of here because they got us they got us staying next to the feds man the feds are right across the street so let's get the fuck out of here okay Year 2002, 18, wondering what the fuck I'm gonna do. Witty, pretty potent with the modern machinations. And I ain't really getting help with college applications. Shit, I like the rhyme. And I wanna battle it too. Down at the pack with the crew, the kid from Broward can do. Yeah, he got a few filler lines. By now, that flip it up thing, he's probably used like a million times. But he's got punches and energy to swing through.